child is missing every second counts, but a system used across the country could be slowing down efforts to find lost kids here. Bridget Shanahan joins us with an I-Team investigation into what some are calling a major flaw with Amber Alerts. Many people don't even realize every state has its own Amber Alert. It was a case in Franklin that first caught our attention. Two young boys were reported missing. Law enforcement believed they could be in danger, but because the children were traveling across state lines, no Amber Alert was ever issued. My wife is bipolar. She uh, is in a psychotic episode. She's kidnapped my two sons. For the first time, you're hearing a Franklin dad's panic-stricken phone call to 911 operators in January. She's going to try to hurt them. She thinks that she's an angel and she wants to pick them. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. His immediate thought? Spread the word. There's no, is there any way we can just have an alert? I mean, she's totally delusional right now. An Amber Alert was never issued for the two young brothers. Their photos were never even widely released. According to a Franklin police report obtained by today's TMJ4, just when the Department of Justice decided the case met the Amber Alert criteria and the kids could be in danger, the boy's mother used her credit card in Indiana, meaning they'd already left Wisconsin and traveled through Illinois. They'd eventually make their way to Ohio before the boys were found safe, 13 hours after their father first thought they were at risk. Everybody has their own system with their own criteria. You heard that right. Even though they're all called Amber Alerts, there is no national Amber Alert system. So if the missing children are no longer in one state, the Amber Alert doesn't transfer, and the process starts all over again. For there to be a nationwide Amber Alert system where Wisconsin could essentially activate in another state, um, we might be activating when we shouldn't and that may lead to issues of, again, of saturation. But if, if we determine a child is in danger in our state, how could that child not be in danger in another state? Well, I can't speak for the other states and their criteria, so you would have to ask the other states. Nationally, between 2010 and 2014, 169 Amber Alert children were found out of state. That's between 14 and 25 percent of cases every year. It needs to be done. I mean, <laughs> without a doubt, if you just go state by state, people that live by the borders, they can be across the border in no time, and that state has no clue what they should be looking for. It needs to be nationwide. This is a computer generated picture of what Hope Springer's daughter Kayla would look like now, seven years after she disappeared from northern Wisconsin. She was 15 years old. Her smile and, and giving her a hug is probably the, sorry, the one thing I miss most. There was never an Amber Alert issued for Kayla, something her mom immediately asked for too. But Kayla's case did not meet the criteria, something that still haunts Hope today. I'll never give up. I, I'll never give up until I have that evidence or, or she is standing in front of me. But. It's been very hard. Retired Milwaukee police detective Steve Spingola agrees with Hope. Having a national system would help speed up the Amber Alert process, saving time when it matters most. Law enforcement needs those, what I call eyes and ears from people to help us find those people safely and bring them back. I'm always looking, I'm always posting. Um, I don't, it doesn't matter what state they're from. Keep in mind, while an Amber Alert was never issued for the Franklin brothers or for Hope's daughter, local law enforcement do still investigate. And in Kayla's case, police are still looking for her. Bridget Shanahan, today's TMJ4. Thank you, Bridget.